That's not great. I'll probably have like text boxes up for them. So yeah, I've done some minor changes to the layout of the control deck. Um, no actual mechanical changes, but I have added a lot of stuff. So we got an angular speed and acceleration kind of graph to show us that over time. And um, it does get pretty sensitive when nothing's actually happening. It just starts like going all over the place from like minute measurements. Uh, if we got the camera, I actually added a safety auto, safety warning, and exceeding the boundary there. I'll kind of explain those in a minute. And then obviously got the compressors, the throttle, and then we got angular speed, acceleration, because these read out as E's, because why not? Looks fancy. And then we have a much more low tech, just like a thing, where it basically just says, oh dang it, like glitching out again from that. Yeah, my character does not enjoy the fact of what I'm doing, but um, 3,500 is the boundary layer, and I'll kind of explain what that is. I should probably move it up. Well, technically, that's the alert. alert. 4,000 is the boundary layer, but 2,500, that's kind of the safety minimum. Nothing's happened under 2,500 without some kind of external interference. Um, then 3,500, like I said, exceeding the boundary layer, which is around 4,000. And the boundary layer is essentially where the acceleration looks like an arch rather than like kind of a staircase, where it's technically linear, but the microcontroller that reads it, reads it every like couple seconds. So it looks like a staircase, but it's actually a linear acceleration. Um, it becomes an exponential acceleration because apparently air resistance stops working and this thing just starts infinitely speeding up in circles. So it's not great and then it warps away. Uh, you can commit a, you can you can actually do a slingshot maneuver where you have both exceeding boundary layer and safety warning going off and then you disable the compressors and the acceleration becomes linear again but it's just kind of just going um, kind of all around the place. Um, <clears throat> Sorry I've been having that cold recently but uh, 
Basically, you get up to like 40,000 is the highest I've ever measured without blowing this thing up. Anyways, here's the test. So, safety auto. We'll turn that on and then I'll kind of show you the warning system. So, it sets at about, it's supposed to set at 0.75 and I'm probably going to work on that. Uh, fixing it, but right now it sets it at 0.74. So now, I can hit the compressors and all these displays will light up. There we go. So there we got the measurements. We have the acceleration. We have the angular speed. So it kind of reads out as an E. So I have to actually change that. But yeah, so. And then it levels out. Now I'm going to disable the safety auto. Go full power. Open the map so I can actually get back. Disable and do the slingshot maneuver. Let's see if it works. It's working so far. See acceleration. It's stay. It's kind of going linearly now. But see how it's kind of doing slightly exponentially, and then it goes back down. But now we're already at like 35,000. See, the reason I have a camera is because if you look at it like that, it doesn't look very great with this. It looks a lot more around them. Yeah, now the acceleration going to go to a negative value. And it'll start slowing down. Yeah, so theoretically, if I did, if it's like the way it's working right now, it could infinitely accelerate, but I'm not gonna let it. So, under theoretically, under perfect, um, under perfect uh, conditions, this thing could infinitely accelerate in a vacuum, essentially. Um, once it reaches the boundary layer, it'll always be 4,000 self sustained. Now you might say, well, let's just harvest that energy. It's a little more complicated than that, and honestly, I'm probably going to turn this over to the Steve Workshop, where there's smarter minds than mine, to figure out how to actually take energy from this thing. Because just look at it. If you touch that, you die. So yeah, um... We're still accelerating, but like I said, we might not ever decelerate. I'm actually have to turn the throttle off. good thing is we're still stabilized, which is pretty uh, interesting, because normally can't stabilize like this, but we're at zero acceleration, yep, point zero one. It seems like it's stuck at zero, it can't, okay, it's, it can't decelerate. What's well, interesting. Well, here's what I was talking about under theoretically perfect conditions, which now we've achieved. The angular speed can stay infinitely at its current spot. Because apparently air resistance doesn't exist anymore. And now the boundary that since the boundary layer has been breached, we have a theoretically infinitely sustaining power source for no reason. I don't know why it's 4,000 meters per second, but it just is. And, oh, there we go. Oh. Eh, pretty lucky. Oh, yep, I'm still teleporting around. Look at that. Warp twice. Okay, maybe three times. Let's go. Yeah, so. That's the new model, I guess, and I'll just be expanding on the kind of analytics and seeing how to do it in the future tests. So yeah, that's probably it for now, and I'll probably upload a part two later. Bye.